The stringed instruments in an orchestra are all usually played by drawing a bow across the string. The family comprises similar looking instruments of quite different size. The violin is the smallest of them. The viola is bigger and can play lower notes than the violin. The cello is significantly larger than the viola and now can't be played under the chin like the violin and viola. And the double bass is the largest and lowest stringed instrument of all. So you see, the whole range of notes from top to bottom is available from the string family because the violins can go comfortably as high as two octaves above middle C. That's about as high as we need to go, although we can go much higher. And the string section has the most to play because we're usually playing all the time in a piece of orchestral music. The strings usually sit in this formation and sometimes like this. The string family can play alone as a self-contained unit and the sound that a string orchestra makes can be very rich. And stringed instruments are very agile. So in a full-size symphony orchestra, you get 16 first violins, 14 second violins, 12 violas, 10 cellos, and eight double basses. Eight double basses is a full-size section. So that's 60 players in all. And composers use all different sounds. So they can also use pizzicato, playing with the fingers. In some orchestral works, string players are given solo spots. These are usually played by the leaders of each section. And four string instruments make up a string quartet. Two violins, viola and cello. Thousands of works have been written for this combination. Other common chamber ensembles include string quintets or sextets, or strings playing with piano in a trio, quartet or quintet. String players often feature in pop and film music, sometimes in the background and sometimes more prominently. And here are our players playing together.